let's be cognizant of how things are changing in the industry with virtual networking and how virtual networks are deployed in these environments. You may have heard some news this summer about VMware making an acquisition for a billion dollars of a tiny little software company called Nicira. Just some software guys. What they did is they reinvented the virtual switch in the hypervisor. Traditionally, what we've dealt with for all these years is the V-switch on the VMware, what have you, has been basically just a dumb layer two switch, just an extension of the top of rack switch. So to get a V-motion from one rack to the next, I had to provide a VLAN in the physical network, hence all of the design challenges. What the software at NYSERA, for example, did was focus on that software switch in the host machine. Rather than that being some dumb layer two bridge extension on top of rack, they made it a lot more intelligent, where it can take those packets from the VM wrap it into an IP header, basically a tunnel, send it to the destination host that needs that packet, unwrap it, and dump the original frame to the destination virtual machine. So over this network here, they built a tunnel, and instead of having VLANs, you simply replace that with a item in a header that's called, for example, a segment ID. Instead of VLAN and 10 and 20, I now have something in an IP header that says 10 and 20. And I've provided what my customer really wants. What, they, what the application customer wants is two VMs on the same logical network. They don't necessarily care if it's done with VLANs or however you do it. Give me two VMs on the same segment. So NYSERA helps VMware accomplish that in a way that works on any network, not just a big massive layer two network that you build with chassis switches. Any network, layer two, layer three, open flow, I don't care. As long as I've got IP connectivity from this host here to that host here, if I can get, let's say he's dot one and this guy's dot seven, as long as I can pass packets from dot one to dot seven, we're good. This isn't just VMware, it's also Microsoft too. Windows Server 2012 has this technology built into it not a bolt-on, it's built in. It's a little bit differently, but it's the same network virtualization overlay. So you've got the two biggest hypervisor vendors putting this into their solution. 